Hi, I'm Wolfgang Sowinker. I'm a pediatric urologist at Georgia Urology. The following video will show a typical patient encounter utilizing telemedicine. Symptoms of a kidney stone and proper evaluation will be demonstrated. The imaging studies of the kidney stone will be presented and treatment options discussed. Hi, I'm Wolfgang Sowinker. I'm a pediatric urologist at Georgia Urology. Thanks for joining us via telemedicine. I hear that you have an 11-year-old son who may have a kidney stone. Can you tell me about your son's problems? Yes, he's been having some pain in his abdominal area on the left side. For how long? It's been off and on about a month. And I saw that you went to the emergency department at Children's? Yes, we did. We took him there. Why? Um, because he was vomiting a lot and in a lot of pain. Did he have fever? Alex, did you see any blood in your urine? Yes, but only one time. And how is the pain now? It helped because of the medicine. Great. Children's Healthcare did imaging studies, including an ultrasound and an x-ray, and I would like to discuss the findings with you. Okay. The ultrasound study shows a 5 mm left kidney stone, but also a dilated left ureter all the way down to the bladder, which is seen as this large black area, indicating a potential additional urethral stone, which is seen here on the x-ray. Since your son is in pain and has two stones, one in the ureter and one in the kidney, I recommend a procedure called ureteroscopy. It is a minimally invasive procedure that is performed on an outpatient basis. Your son will be under general anesthesia. Usually, ureteroscopy is performed as a single procedure, but sometimes it has to be staged if our instruments cannot be advanced through the ureter into the kidney. In this case, a small drainage tube called stent has to be placed first. And in about two weeks after this procedure, he will return for the ureteroscopy. Sometimes, a stent has to be placed at the end of the ureteroscopy if swelling or edema is seen within the ureter. Stone fragments will be removed and sent for stone analysis. Eventually, we also will submit two 24-hour urinalyses to further elucidate what risk factors your son has in order to prevent stone formation in the future. This image shows the principle of flexible ureteroscopy. The instrument is advanced through the urethra, through the bladder, into the ureter, and advanced all the way up to the kidney stone, which is typically broken up with a laser and the fragments removed with a stone basket. Do you have questions? Yes. Is it an outpatient procedure or will he have to stay in the hospital for a it while? It is an outpatient procedure and he will go home after the procedure. What kind of recovery time does he have and will he have to stay out of school for a long time? I would expect that there will be some pain and also some blood in the urine for about 48 hours after the procedure. And as soon as the pain is minimal, he should be able to return to school. What kind of complications are we looking at? Complications are very uncommon with a minimal invasive procedure. Most commonly infections of the urinary system and to prevent that he will receive antibiotics before the actual procedure. The next step is that our scheduler will reach out to you and schedule the procedure. Thank you for your telemedicine visit. If your child was diagnosed with a kidney stone or was suspected to have a kidney stone, please call us at Georgia Pediatric Urology. Thank you.